This ain't animation, folks. This is actual factual uh, data. And solar winds biking. And the dynamic pressure also. And basically, you're going to see what happens when that happens. We're going to go show you the earthquakes. And basically, we got a 6.7 in Indonesia. And usually, they take a couple ticks off anyway. So, it probably is pretty darn close to it. 6.7. Well, let's we'll know because we're going to be able to see right here, right? Usually, this always gives us the factual actual, and you will see that we've been busy. Matter of fact, I'm going to refresh this in a second. We might have some more on here, and here we come to our actual factual that we had like a 7.4 that got registered at that point in time, so. Looks like it started off with, in the region anyway, that, but then we go down a little bit farther too, and we got Australia, which is in the area. And not showing the magnitude that showed up there. Probably basically to cover up for the taking the ticks off of it. So basically, I really trust the 7.4. And the actual factual that they did do a tsunami warning and basically warn just about everything from the Indian Ocean on up. That basically they're basically issued for that the idea that they didn't need to. Very small likelihood does not exist based on historicals. And as you see, I'm just going to go back. I'm not going to open up every one of these, but as you can see, they've been doing a lot of carefully making sure, and even on this one here, letting know uh, two different reports public tsunami information statement and a tsunami statement saying that there wasn't anything going on. And as you see the other dates and times now and the other ones, and you can go check that out. And basically, magnitude located in historical tsunami records that the earthquake was not sufficient to generate tsunami damage. And basically, it's going to be the same statement on this one here. It's just going to be to the public's information network. Same statement. It's not expected along. So basically, it was big enough down there. So if we get into the eights or something like that, we'll see what happens. But that is exactly factual what you ended up with a quake here because we're going to show you one more time that this data is real and it's right there. More than likely, basically straight up a 7.4 and at least a 7 to darn damn with. Because as soon as you see that these guys go ahead and show it, and then here's the most recent quakes too. These are no more than two days, old, no more than a day old, I think. Basically here, this is all today's. So that's your action. And then we'll go to the graphs. We'll stroll through this graphs. And it pretty much inked up everything. Big spike at the South Pole, too, when we get down here to uh, you know, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now, I did see a, something like a 3.1 or something like that in Nevada. And there's you go to Antarctic Station. Literally, go by one now. So, Antarctic Station in Casey, they got a good spike. Now, last year in the fall, I seen uh, Casey get a lot more than that. And as you see, Alaska, Oregon pretty sure this show up. Just make sure you always watch this on full screen. I'll keep taking you through the data. Basically, I just thought I figured I'd throw it in Norway. Very solid ground. Shaking through this. Ink all over the world, pretty much. Kongsberg, Norway. Kongsberg. Sorry. And so, a lot of ink. Western Australia. Felt it big. All right, so, and I, oh yeah, we got more. There we go. There's more. There's more. Ink, 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 ink. And South Pole Antarctica got a big hit there. South Dakota even felt it. Check that out. All right. And what's crazy is you can start to see where some of these plates connect at. 
i.e. going back up and then the idea that where they group them too after a while because this is no crazy alphabetical order or anything like that Tennessee felt it okay and the best example going up to South Dakota and showing straight across almost identical path widths band widths if I can get South Dakota to come up here again now searching for it I might have went bought flying right by it but when I showed you that South Dakota and then to the right, you see uh, Chile, I think it was, pretty much matched up. So anyway, scroll back through that and check that out, because basically you'll see a bandwidth matching right across. So just scroll back to the video. It's always showing you actual factual data. It'll be there. So go back to South Dakota, scroll back to it, and see how it matches to the right of Chile. It's pretty much matched up. And they're starting to get to it, do it too, about having these laying around where the idea they get these plates connected. It's what kind of matches up on graph action when, when they hit. So, uh, and then here's where it was, because I've seen the 6.7 show up. That's USGS, so they take some ticks off it. And basically at nighttime tonight, but basically down in South America they've been getting some action along with way down Antarctic way the 5.1 down there and once again Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands pretty much shaking their booty off and Alaska getting some action too so we can go into that's pretty much it and then we can drag it across and then again 14 days of massive quaking Shaking bacon. And really basically because there's a ton at three and above. I mean, basically four point something. The ones over in Virgin Islands, stuff like that, a lot of small, you know, smaller, but the idea that's mostly aftershocks. And then we get all this other activity. So all these quakes are happening. And I'm going to show you, basically, since I got it up, I should have the links up of the meatball that basically, if you've watched the video before this, and you got to watch, basically, the last 24 videos I've done has got a ton of just basically actual factual picture stuff that's, stuff's out there in space, things going on. And let me take you to a cool video. And yep, folks, this is a good example of shit happens. Basically, they had a, a gas, at least that's what they're saying, it was a gas explosion over in, uh, I'm not sure, if it, I can't remember again if it was Japan or China, and whammo. So, about right here it gets interesting, basically. Oh, we try again later. And basically, the induction meter was showing some crazy stuff around noon today, too. Uh, this is normally what you'd see in the middle of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, correct, this is the evening reading here. But at noon, and we're getting a real good spike at midnight here on the magnetometer. And I can give you a fresh shot too, because we can usually will update here. I think it might have updated automatically too on me. Yeah, pretty much what happened is it updated automatically on me. But let's see if I can get the previous pop up here. And at nighttime, we're getting a short, as you can see, last night. And we're getting an identical kind of match coming in, flopping in. So the sun is giving us a pretty good radio density in the magnetometer of identical. The identical because basically this was the 11th of October. And then I'm going to give you... What we've got so far this morning. Now remember... This shouldn't match like that. Okay. And we'll go back to the previous. You see what I'm saying? We're getting some crazy matching. So, and 
a very short period the last the night before last okay tonight's the 12th so that's what this graph is basically that's what this one is building to because basically this is live pretty much it refreshes every once in a while so at night we're getting a flash when it should be what we would get like at UTC time at like maybe five or six so so then what couldn't be the cause of it might be the meatball because the sun is behind this shield here and when I dug up this shot here I blew it up and it's fresh as you can see the date on the 9th that's about as fresh as we can get now tomorrow I might be able to get the 10th or something like that footage but probably not from this camera because basically straight up the sun is under here and it's the same shot let me pop you back to it again and I know I'm kind of doubling up on video action here but I just had more from the earthquake report to be able to show this that's earth and this match is watch the match there's earth there's Venus And the Uranus is somewhere in the darkness of space back here, okay, ladies and gentlemen? Remember my sizes. Uranus is not this big. And this is not Jupiter. Absolutely not Jupiter. It can't be in the frame on H12A. Okay? It cannot and will not be in there. And if it was, it would have a magnetical line to it, okay? And you're not going to pick up the meatball on H1B at this shot, okay? And I had the space weather that I gave you. And it all adds up to a lot of quakes. Okay. There's a lot of magnetics and a lot of stuff out in space that they're not letting you know about. So, actual factual. The meatball is 42. It's the mass up by the sun. Watch the last half dozen, last 12 to 24 videos. There's a ton of stuff in it. Actual, factual videos and data. Showing you exactly this stuff. That this meatball right there is right here. And it's real. And it matches up. Matter of fact, I can even slide across on the shots here. And you're getting the same info to start with. The idea that I'd pull the video up on right there. Earth, Venus, and Uranus. We slide over. We have the same shot. And you can see the solar activity too on the Earth and the wave that's coming by. It's really blowing shit around out there. I.e. And this is fresh, folks. This wind speed right now. Central Standard Time there. 109 a.m. Okay. The spiking's been going on. So I'll go take a look at the solar artist. We'll see what kind of temperature we got. Now, basically, the mass that's up there, and you can call it any number you want. They're starting to call it small fiber. They're trying to cover up again like they did last fall with the idea of making everybody think that there's some kind of smudge. So basically, you might see the CME here, here in a second, but I'm going to try to blow it up again. So anyway... It's not invisible. Here of you, you should be embarrassed of yourself having to do that shit for Big Brother. It's pretty stupid. So let's go ahead and blow this object up. Now, folks, the meatball is the meatball, okay? It is not that object right there, okay? It's not this massive object here, okay? At least I hope not. I pray not, okay? Because basically, this is the meatball that's always been up there that we've always known about. Okay, this is the meatball, and it's up there, and we've always known about it. Now, that mass there next to it, the sun, is just another mass that's out there. And I pray it's not this here, because then it's getting a hell of a lot closer to us than what we think. They call it small fiber or something like that? Yeah, it's not no small fiber. It's when mass 42 or anything from 42 to 45 is there. And remember, when I'm telling you actual factual that it is not this, I'm not guaranteed I won't bet my life on it. But the actual factual is this should be the meatball bigger than what you're seeing right here that we're showing you in the video. And let me blow this up to folks, and it probably will play. And yeah, it's playing. So that's no fiber up there, folks. It's an actual planet. A huge planet with some moons around it. A lot of moons. If 
five or so to be sure. You can even see them in it. So there you go. Even better shot of it.